Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the citizens of Benton Harbor and the Benton Harbor City Council, I welcome you to Benton Harbor. Thank you. Thank you. You know, I listened to the Mayor Pro Seaton speak and I listened to Reverend Pickney speak. You know, it says what? Give me liberty or give me death. That's right. The Boston Tea Party was about what? Taxation without representation. And if we let them get away with this, and we let them keep act, Public Act 4 in motion, that's exactly what it does to you and I. This is about make three things. Funding for our youth, the leaders of tomorrow, they want to cut, they're cutting more and more. I read the paper last night, they're cutting funding for education more and more and more. You know, they're putting it into charter schools and home, home learning. The public schools is for yours and my children. Right. We need public yeah. schools. Yeah. It's about pensions for seniors and people retire. You've already paid taxes on that, but they want to tax it again. Yeah. Why don't they tax the corporations? Yeah. That's right. They want to do certain things with the unions. Now, you know, I, I look at the unions and I say, well, God bless the union. You and I both know that before the unions came into being, they were children. They, they chained them to machinery. Young children worked them day in and day out, sun up to sun down. They didn't make very much money. Some of them were injured. Corporation didn't care. The bottom line is profits and loss statement. This is all they're concerned about. They've taken businesses out of this country, shipped them overseas, and then they want to blame the American public for that. It's greed. Cheap labor, they have cheap labor overseas, they have free land, and it's all profit. Profit, profit, profit. Now they want to profitize city government, the state right. There is no such thing as state rights to that extent. We're guaranteed the right to vote, self-determination. This is what this movement is all about. Right. This is what we have to fight for. We have to be persistent. Yeah. We cannot turn back. And we will take no prisoners. We must go all the way to the U.S. Supreme Court if we have to. Yeah. You know, we may have to be, hit the streets in every city in this state. Yeah. But let me tell you one thing. As mayor, I've been getting calls from every state in the union. Yeah. This is a test case for the whole country. Yeah. If they say if they can get away with that in Michigan, What's present them for getting doing the same thing in Florida and Texas and California? So we're the front line. I always say now, like Jesse Jack, we're the epicenter. We are the new Selma of the 21st century civil rights movement. And it is a movement, ladies and gentlemen. And again, thank you and I welcome you.